All right, let's do a little barn walkthrough. Um, we'll start with Misty. She always likes to get on camera. Don't you, Misty? Now she's going to drink. Anyways, this is this first pin is the new one. Um, I just finished this the other day. I got three eastern wild turkeys in there, two guineas and a duck, and I got another duck coming in a couple days. So that duck is laying eggs, but I got no male. So Anyway, uh, the center pin is for the barred rocks, and the last pin is all the mixed birds. There she is. She always gets in camera somehow. So this is Misty. She's a miniature. Uh, I don't know what breed she'd be. Anyway, she likes acorns. She's always hunting for them. But uh, she's pretty big for a mini. She's as big as they can go. But she's a pretty good girl. She's just a pet. So, starting in the lean-to. It's my little makeshift gate. So this lean-to is pretty new. There's a couple goats in there. Misty's a little mad at me because of these two. Aren't you, girl? No, you stay out there. You stay. You go in. You got your own door. Okay. So, in the lean-to, we have dirt floor. And we've got an 8x8 coop for the turkeys. And eventually, I got three turkeys. Eventually, I want to get three ducks and three guineas. So, three mating trios. And uh, I'll let the guineas and the ducks out every day and keep the turkeys in because I don't know if they'll come back um, anyway they haven't used the roost yet but they've only been in here for like three days they are using the nest boxes down there the ducks and the and both the turkeys um, I try to use this style wire the 2x4 16 gauge wire for everything it's not going to stop a mink but all the big predators it will but if mink comes along he's going to find a way in anyway There's a little pig pin behind us. Hasn't been used in a while. Right now I'm using it to store hay. But we're thinking about getting a little pig, so I put the hay up like three feet. Should be using my other camera for this, because this one I can't zoom out any further. So this is the main barn, 16 by 20. I've got two coops on this side. I gotta take this down and do some remodeling. I started setting this one up for pigeons and then got out of that real quick. So eventually I wanna have it set up like this one over here. So we got a nest box in there. And we've got what's left of the pigeon things. It's raining outside today, so most of the birds are inside. They gotta be cleaned out pretty soon. Feed barrels I use to cut off 45 gallon drums. Oh, it's got a thing of shavings here. A garbage can. These are the mixed flock. There's a little bit of everything in there. And some frizzles and that. And this nest box is hinged in the back and it's I gotta put a little cleat or handle on the front. You can actually pick it up and then scrape everything out and put it back down. It's pretty handy. I actually got that idea from when I was researching for pigeons. I've got a little brooder here in the corner. It's uh, four feet square and I don't know, like 20 inches high or something that I'll keep chicks in. Usually I sell all the chicks. And I think if we pop outside, yeah. Okay, this is what I usually use for a brooder. I'll keep one or two of these in the house when I'm ready to do a hatch. So that's a key. This one's cracked. I gotta salvage it for parts. This is a keyless lamp holder. It has that notch in it, and you can put a treble light cage over it, and that's what I do. And I took it off this one to put on another one. So anything that I have that don't sell or I want to keep, oh crap, go through. I'll uh, I'll put in that for a while, and then they'll move into there. Turn my door back. Misty's pin. And the goat pin that I just let them out of by mistake. 
and this is today's little project. So this is my quail cage. Now the intention on this was always to divide it and have two coops. They were four feet long and 16 inches square. But the problem I had was I only have one big door in the front and when you try and open it, they'd get out on me. So I, this morning I put two more hinges up here. I put these two pieces in, cut the wire. Always had two locks. Then I took a little keyhole saw and I cut in there. And on the end, I put a little door on the end as well. So that's my no waste quail feeder. Quail are coming next week. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope someone likes the video and subscribes. Now I gotta go round those guys up and get them back in here.